These are the nine reasons I think the vessel will shake up the family cruise industry. I've been aboard Norwegian, Celebrity, MSC, and Margaritaville ships. In terms of the amenities it offers to travelers, none have compared to what Royal Caribbean is promising with the icon of the seas. One other cruise ships will be physically stunted by the icon, it will be 1,198 feet long. Royal Caribbean is in the business of making big cruise ships bigger. At this length, the icon will dethrone its predecessor as the world's largest cruise ship. The icon of the seas has more dining and drinking venues than any ship I've been on so far. The ship will host 40 restaurants, bars, and nightlife venues. This includes a swim-up bar for adults, a Gravengo sushi station, espresso martinis at Rye and Bean. To compare, the Wonder of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's current world's largest cruise ship, has a little over 32. Royal Caribbean is promising the icon will be home to the world's largest water park at sea. The colorful, Category 6, water park will have six water slides, including the tallest at sea. Three of its water slides will be a first for the cruise line. Several Royal Caribbean ships already have water slides. But none have the Icon's family raft, mat racing, and open freefall slides. Besides the water park, there are plenty of onboard activities for families. I generally dislike cruises because I hate feeling trapped and bored. But it could be hard for families, a target demographic for the upcoming ship, to feel bored on a ship with this many amenities. For example, activities like Crown's Edge Rope Course could leave its thrill-seeking participants suspended 155 feet above the ocean. Travelers will also find a surf simulator, rock climbing wall, and mini golf course near this heart racing activity. But for travelers who don't want to break a sweat, there are less intense places to spend their time, such as the carousel, arcade, or children's water park. All of these will be located in the Surfside neighborhood. Pool decks will no longer be rows of pool chairs surrounding one or two large pools. The Icon of the Seas will have seven pools, one of which will be the largest at sea, according to the cruise line. Instead, the behemoth vessel will have what Royal Caribbean calls a suspended infinity pool. This one-of-a-kind pool will be located in the Hideaway neighborhood. This will also be the go-to destination for multi-level outdoor lounges and hot tubs. The ship will have 28 different staterooms and suites that will make up its 2,805 hotel rooms at sea. Travelers can still book the classic cheaper interior staterooms. But for families with slightly deeper pockets, there's also the option for the unique infinite balcony cabin with a separate enclave for children. Of these 28 categories, 14 will be new to the brand. Some will be as expensive as exclusive luxury cruises, like the three-story Ultimate Family Townhouse booking for an average of $75,000 a week. This glitzy accommodation was 55% sold out in February, Michael Bailey, Royal Caribbean CEO, told investors. The cruise line is elevating its life of entertainment at the Aquadome with add-ons like robotic arms and a waterfall. Several cruise lines opt for nighttime entertainment like Broadway musicals or lightweight Cirque du Soleil interpretations. Royal Caribbean also does musicals. But unlike other cruise lines, it also offers water shows at its iconic water-based theaters. The one on the icon will have new tech like robotic arms and projections. Besides this venue, the ship will also have ice shows. Royal Caribbean promises the ice rink on the Icon of the Seas will be its largest yet. Royal Caribbean is growing the neighborhood exclusive to travelers who have booked suites. What better way to entice higher paying travelers than to promise more amenities for guests staying in suites? The three-deck suite neighborhood will have multi-level lounges, a pool, a hot tub, and a two-story restaurant.